from Class Q65 and today I'm going to give a talk about the topic of explosives. So let me go through the content. Uh, so what? So let me tell you about the what I'm going to present. So the first one would be the introduction, then the second one would the second one would be definition, brief history about nuclear types of explosive, medical explosive, chemical explosive, and then nuclear explosive, where with explosion, ammonium nitrate, Chernobyl disaster, and finally the conclusion. So first of all, why did I choose this topic? Explosive. So why I choose this topic? Because I think the topic explosive is really cool. Because you see it a lot in games. So the first one, what is the actual use of explosive? Like there's different types of explosive. Like there's so much more than these three, obviously. First one is 246 tri trinitrotolivine. You might encounter this in chemistry topic, nitrogen compound. And that is used for military weapons and dynamite, used for mining and demolition industries, nuclear bomb is for war. And as you, as you can see, this is the pictures of this tree. Yeah. Nuke bomb, trinitrotolivine crystal, and dynamite sticks. So the next one. Um, what is the meaning of explosives? So here's the meaning. Um, it, it is a material containing fuel and sufficient oxidizer capable of undergoing a chemical reaction of relatively high rate of speed upon ignition, resulting in the production of usable force or blasting fire arms, propelling missiles or the land. So I think the perfect example of explosive here is creeper from Minecraft which glow in the video game Minecraft. Okay, uh, the next one. Um, so there's a lot of types of explosive, so I chose um, the simple one, nuclear weapons. I think we all, we're all familiar with nuclear weapons, as we heard it a lot used in war. So the first, test, the first testing of nuclear weapons was actually tested in New Mexico, United States, July 16, 1946. That is during the World War II. So then, after the testing, the United States dropped the atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima on August 6, 1945, which 130,000 people was killed and wounded. And three days after that, the United States bombed Nagasaki, of where 286,000 people living there at the time of the blast and 74,000 were killed and another 75,000 were wounded. Okay, so the next one. So there's there's three types of explosive. There are uh, mechanical explosive, chemical explosive, and nuclear explosive. And fun fact, I just know about this when I was doing the research. Before this, I didn't really know about this. So the first one, mechanical explosive. Mechanical explosive is one that depends on a physical reaction such as overloading, overloading a container with compressed air. <coughs> uh, example, a, sim a simple can of beans toast into a fire. And as you can see here, a can of Sholtok spray. Like, uh, mechanical explosive is like when you hit this can, the pressure of the gas inside would increase. But the volume is too small for the is too small for the gas pressure to test it will blow yeah so that's like really dangerous and the next one chemical explosive a chemical explosive is a compound or mixture which upon the application of heat or shock decomposes or rearranges with extreme rapidity yielding much gas and heat the strength of chemical explosive are measured according to the heat of explosion it can be calculated by comparing the heats of formation before and after the reaction. <coughs> so here is, an, here is an example of chemical explosive. Nitroglycerine. Um, nitroglycerine is very unstable. So for it to be a useful, useful explosive, um, the substance has to be stable first so that it can be used. If it is unstable and used, it can, it can detonate at any time because it decomposes very fast. 
and nitroglycerin is used in the manufacture of dynamite and medication. And the person that successfully made this nitroglycerin stable is this person, Alfred Nobel, which is also the discoverer of dynamite. Um, he, make, he manufactured it by carefully mixing glycerol with nitric and sulfuric acid. And next, I'm going to talk about nuclear explosive. A nuclear explosive is one which a sustained nuclear reaction can be made to take place with almost instant, instant rapidity releasing large amounts of energy. Uh, the perfect example would be the little boy atom bomb dropped on Hiroshima, which I talked about earlier, which is dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So about this bomb, it, a, de a detonator was used to trigger the explosion. One mass of uranium was fired into the other. The neutrons created by that firing started a fission chain reaction generating a tremendous amount of energy instantaneously. <clears throat> so next, I'm going to talk about something that happened recently. Yeah, so, the red explosion, which happened on 4th of August 2020, where a large amount of ammonium nitrate stored at the port of the city of Beirut, the capital of Lebanon, exploded. At least 200 204 people died, 7,500 people injured, and it caused 50, US 15 billion in property damage, leaving an estimated 300,000 people homeless. So first of all, some, some 2,700 tons of ammonium nitrate were uploaded the following year and stored in an unsafe condition in a warehouse at the port. So let's talk about ammonium nitrate. What's, what makes it explosive? So this this is the last damage of Beirut explosion. So this is where where the ammonium nitrate was stored and safe near the port. And as you can see, the damage is very very severe. It affects area far from the site explosion. So the next one, ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate is commonly used in fertilizers herbicides and insecticides. As you can see here, there is, this is the fertilizer example. So why is it explosive? A chemical composition contains both fuel and, and oxidizer compound, component. It is classified as secondary explosive as it can deton detonate, and but it is rather stable to work with. During a typical explosion, ammonium nitrate can instantaneously release a large amount of energy about negative 377.1 kilojoules per mole and that is an exothermic reaction so it would be very hot and nitrogen gas water vapor and reddish brown nitrogen dioxide gas is are produced Nitro ammonium nitrate is about 75 percent as powerful as tnt which is trinitrile fun fact a uh, next uh, mixture of 74% forest pellets of ammonium nitrate acts as an oxidizing agent when, a when added to fuel oil, 6% of the total volume, and can be used to create a basic but deadly explosion. This combination has been used for criminal, criminal and terrorist attacks. And a, a perfect example would be the Oklahoma City bombing. So let's, if you don't know about the C Oklahoma City bombing, so on April 19, 1995, an ex-army soldier and security guard parked a rented truck in front of the federal building in downtown Oklahoma City. Inside the vehicle was a powerful bomb made out of deadly cocktail of agri agricultural fertilizer, diesel fuel, and other chemicals. So the agricultural fertilizer obviously contains ammonium nitrate. As the bomb exploded, the surrounding area looked like a war zone. A third of the building had been reduced to rubble with many floors flat flattened like paintings. Dozens of cars were incinerated and more than 300 nearby buildings were damaged or destroyed, according to the Federal Bureau of Investigation. There's the total of death is 168, including 19 children with several hundred more injured. It was recorded as the worst act of homegrown terrorism in the nation's history. 
So nuclear accident, which is the Chernobyl disaster. If you don't know about the Chernobyl disaster, Chernobyl disaster was caused by a nuclear accident that occurred on Saturday, 26 April 1986. Um, Chernobyl actually powered their electricity by nuclear. So the result of a flow re reactor design that was operated with an adequate, adequately trained personnel caused this explosion. So let's talk about the aftermath of Chernobyl. After all the years, the radiation in Chernobyl is still active. The health and reproduction of animals near Chernobyl were diminished for at least the first six months of the following accident. The animals are radi radioactive because they eat radioactive food so that they may produce few young and very mutated progeny. So this is the Chernobyl mutants. And as you can see, they grow to pants and six legs. And, and that is the conclusion for this topic. In conclusion, no matter how many advantages that explosive has, the advantages would still outweigh it, as we can see by looking at the accident and the people that has died due to this explosive. Thus, explosive must be used in a meticulous manner in order to avoid unwanted accident. Uh, so, to explain this further, in my opinion, um, uh, we see explosive as more of a violence thing than it is to help us. So yeah, that concludes everything. And these are the references. Yes, this is the references. And thank you for watching this video.